investing in the path of progress, up and coming neighborhoods, or just shooting the shit straight to y'all, investing in the hood. Let's dive in. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the Investment Properties for Sale show here on Holton Wise TV. I am your host, James Wise, as always, but a little something different, obviously coming to you guys uh, from the new norm, which is my home office, uh, you know, outside of the Holton Wise TV studio right now in the day of social distancing a la the coronavirus pandemic. If you guys haven't seen some of the coronavirus content we've been putting out lately, definitely check a lot of that out. It's in the show notes below. We really, um, we worked with US Reeb and we really wanted to give you guys a very robust, uh, you know, transparent legal perspective on the whole thing. You know, we talk about a lot of things. We talk about evictions during the coronavirus outbreak, uh, what to do with your vacant properties during the coronavirus outbreak. You know, we touch on some subjects that are a little taboo. You know, we don't, uh, you know, we don't, uh, you know, just beat our, uh, you know, little uh, woe is me heart, uh, our woe is me drum rather, right? We're not bleeding hearts here. We give it to you guys straight, right? Um, you know, it's a very sad situation. It's tough, but uh, we do our very best to provide you guys a unique and transparent uh, look into this business. And we talk about some things that some folks are a little offended by. Uh, but hey, you know, we got to get through this just like everybody else. So we tell you guys what you need to do to stay legal and compliant, but also ensure that you are protecting your business, right? Because just the uh, notion of just giving everyone free rent uh, because they're going through some hard times, that doesn't work, right? Because, you know, the owners of those properties, you guys, you're also facing the same difficulties as your tenant base. So definitely check out all of the coronavirus content we've put out. It's in the show notes below. Uh, it was actually a joint production between myself and the folks from US Reef. And as far as today's video, uh, we're going to start it off with a property from U.S. Reap. So let's just jump right into it. 4107 East 60th, Kansas City, Missouri, 64130. Now, this is a three-bed, two-bathroom home priced at $88,000. As you'll see right here from the photos, completely renovated, currently vacant. They just went in and, you know, bang this thing out as we're getting used to seeing from US Reeve, as we're putting a bunch of their content on Holton Wise TV for you guys, all you guys out there trying to get into KC. You know, they do nice rehabs, man. The thing I love about their rehabs is everything is so modern. It's so fresh. This is what your tenants want to see, dude. Look at this kitchen, dude. Just, you know, bright colors, modern, right? This is what today's tenant base is looking for. Nice little accent wall. They painted the brick black. I thought that looked pretty cool. I thought that was a pretty gnarly touch. Per usual, the uh, the bathroom, right? That's looking good, totally legitimate. These are what tenants want to see. This is how you can try to increase your length of stay. When you give tenants old, outdated stuff, guys, they just, you know, they're living there because they have to. You know, eventually something better is going to come on and they're going to want to go to that. Now, this particular property, if you notice the market rent, it's a little bit lower, right? It's $850. One thing I want you guys to, to pay attention to real quick, though, is the tax of $366 a year. If you're used to comparing price to rent ratio to what we're doing up here in the Cleveland market, uh, don't do that here, right? Because you might think, oh, dude, this is a stanker, 88K for 850 in rent. But you guys got to pay attention to the fact that down there in Kansas City, they're going with property tax rates that are totally different, right? So your ROI is going to even out because of the uh, lower rent, yes, but the, the taxes, you know, more than makes up for it, right? Up here in the Cleveland market, those taxes would probably be, shit, dude, almost 3K, right? So you got to pay attention to that. Now, at the top of the show, I talked about, uh, you know, investing in Path of Progress or the hood, so to speak. Now, I wouldn't say this property is necessarily like the hood, the hood. It's not uh, the worst neighborhood in the world, but there's definitely going to be challenges with this neighborhood. But uh, according to the folks down in KC, they have told me this is an up and coming neighborhood. Now, I don't have much on the specific details of what makes this neighborhood up and coming. Okay. But first, the first thing first resource I want you guys to check out is going to be the ultimate guide to grading Kansas City neighborhoods. That is in the show notes below as well. McKaylee from US Reeb, she talked to me all about all the neighborhoods in Kansas City. And, you know, just based upon 
you know, what we've been talking about and what they're telling me, you know, this neighborhood is supposed to be on the upswing. That does not mean there's not going to be a little bit of risk. Okay. A little bit of risk when you're investing in a property like this. Uh, but if you can get in on a neighborhood on its way up, you know, not only do you get to make that cash flow, you get to have your cake and eat it too. And you might get to, uh, you know, jump in on some appreciation, which is something that we don't often see in these cash flow markets. But as far as more information on exactly how risky this particular neighborhood is right now and where they're speculating that it could be down the line, you're going to want to contact US REAP for information like that directly, right? You know, all of their contact info, it's been on the screen. If it's not currently on the screen, it's also in the show notes below. That is also where you're going to need to put in your offer, right? You're just going to contact them directly. If you need lenders, we got those for you. You can shoot us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We'll get you our list of lenders so you get pre-approved. So you could then put in your offer to US Re. But anything in addition to that, uh, outside of insurance, we could also handle your insurance, folks. So in the show notes below, uh, click the link. We will quote you. And you don't even have to be buying this property for us to quote you on insurance, guys. Uh, we are in a, we own an insurance agency. It's a farmer's business and we are appointed coast to coast. And what we do is we only deal with landlord policies. So we beat the crap out of your premiums. We beat those things down. So if you're watching the show and you got a portfolio, uh, you know, in some random market across the USA, go ahead and click the link below you know, no commitment or anything, just, you know, give us info on your portfolio and we'll quote you. We could probably beat your policy down. I mean, if you actually comb through your policy, I bet you got a whole bunch of riders that you don't actually need, right? You go ahead and insure your rental properties through insurance agents that are uh, used to insuring like your own home or your, your boat or your car or things like that. You might find a bunch of unnecessary riders on your policy. Check your policies, guys. Maybe you have a personal property rider. You're paying, you know, maybe like a hundred bucks a year for a per personal property rider on your rental properties. A personal property rider, what that is, is they're insuring personal property that you have inside the uh, inside the home. Like for instance, you know, at your own home, you could insure your wife's wedding ring, things of that nature. Well, I'm guessing y'all don't have any personal property inside your rental portfolios, do you? So you're just burning money. It's things like that that we do, and that's how we beat those policies down. So enough of that. Check that in the show notes. But back to this particular property. Back to us, Reeb guys. Contact them directly uh, to ask them questions about this neighborhood today. Contact them directly to ask them questions about where they think this neighborhood is going. Contact them directly to talk to them about their property management services. They are just like we are up here in the Cleveland market. They are top to bottom solutions. So they'll be able to sell you this property and then they'll be able to handle your maintenance and uh, property management, things of that nature going forward. So again, if it's not on the screen, all of their contact info is in the show notes below. What I want to do now, go to a quick word from the sponsors of today's show, one of which, of course, is U.S. Reap, so you get to see a little bit more about them and their business. Then we're going to get into another property in the, in the Cleveland market this time that is also in a higher-risk neighborhood that there is going to be a big speculation that it's going to go up. So you're going to get that cash flow, but you might also be able to hop on that appreciation train. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Hey folks, welcome back. Now let's jump right into the second property of today's show. 
This one is from my portfolio, 3310 Archwood, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. This is a quad, and you guys know I love quads. Quads are my favorite type of investment. Reason being is the financing, guys. Financing is probably the most important aspect of the real estate game, okay? You purchase a property, you only put down 25% and your bank, they are going to loan you the other 75%. The only negative to this beautiful 30-year financing is you can only get 10 of those. So I want you to burn that first one on your own home mortgage. The other nine, I want you to put into rental properties. If you do anything that's five units or above, you can't use traditional residential 30-year financing. So one to four unit properties for nine mortgages. And the reason I love them quads, of course, is because if you can get one rental income check, that's awesome. One check per mortgage. But if you can get four income checks per mortgage, that is even better, four times better. So this quad, man, this is the bee's knees. Y'all, the bee's knees, man. 119.9, all four units, okay? They are all two ones, but they are going to be a little bit different, right? The first unit okay, for some <laughs> ungodly reason, right, we bought this from a seller who just wanted out, uh, was not happy with the investment, called us, wanted us to just make him a cash offer, you know, a lot of stuff going on, coronavirus, they're like, dude, we just want out of this, and, you know, Holton Wise, we have huge portfolios, so we're not afraid to buy property uh, during the height of the coronavirus pandemic, we're like, yeah, I mean, you know, we're going to have to factor in some risk, because we don't exactly know what we'll be able to do with this thing after the fact, if, uh, you know, we go to a worldwide, uh, you know, chaos and pandemic. We're not 100% sure how it's all going to shake out, but screw it. We'll make you a cash offer. You know, if we need to, we'll just hold it for a long time. Um, so we ended up uh, buying it. And uh, like I said, they're, you know, they were not professional landlords. I don't know what they got going on. This, this, this first unit, it's a two, one, it's big, it's beautiful. Uh, well, I mean, it don't necessarily look beautiful, right? We're going to need to spend approximately five to 10 K to make it beautiful after this tenant is gone. And normally I'm all about just slowly increasing rents. I'm never usually trying to just boot people out immediately, but for some ungodly reason, this tenant is uh, inside this property at $270 a month. Sorry, unit one tenant, that shit just ain't going to fly. Uh, so we're going to need to just pop this person's rent way up. You know, maybe we don't go to market, which is 750. Maybe we go to like 600 uh, and then we go to 750 the next year, something like that. But we can't leave this person in there at 270, right? We'd be losing money. It would cost us money to house this person at that unit. So after a five to 10 K reno, that is a $750 a month unit. As far as unit two goes, that one's vacant, depending on the type of uh, level of rehab you want to do, right? If you want to get the premium upgrade, it's going to be a little higher. Uh, if you just want to go basic, it's going to be a little lower, but five to eight K big spacious unit. We'll also be able to rent that for 750 a month. Okay. Just, you know, nice, beautiful, spacious unit. We're going to do, you know, the normal fixings, man, floors, walls, upgraded kitchens and baths, right? Again, depending on if you want the premium upgrades or not, which I highly recommend, definitely very important. It's going to keep your turnovers lower, keep your cash flow up, right? We don't make more money by getting an extra $25 or $50 a month in rent from these units, guys. We make more money by keeping the same people in the units for a long time. We don't want to do turnovers every year or two, right? That's how we make our money. As far as unit three goes, this is also a 2-1, but this is going to have a lower rent, right? This is going to only be six fifty, And the reason is this unit's wonky. And yeah, we're going to want to spend another five to eight k getting this puppy up to snuff, but it's never going to be a $750 unit, guys. It's always going to be a wonky unit, okay? Reason being is this is that third floor unit. It's small, right? It's, it's never going to be a true, huge, large, spacious unit like one and two. So you're going to get hurt by that. You're going to always get a hundred bucks less. I mean, if, if you look inside the bathroom here, right, you got a low, uh, a low ceiling, right? So these are issues that we can never correct, right? I can't, uh, no matter what I do to this unit, it's always going to be a little wonky. So we're going to want to bang it out, make it look beautiful so people love it. But, uh, you know, we're always going to be a little bit less on the rent. So six fifty there. Uh, over here, cruising to the footage of the house behind it, right? So it's quad, but uh, three of the units are in the first building. The last unit's in the second building. Also a 2-1, currently rented at 600. We're going to need to bump that person's rent up slowly. I mean, what we really want to do, we want to renovate the other two units, the two vacant units, put people in there, get that rent being paid, probably under the Section 8 program uh, to keep things very, very safe. Because right now the neighborhood is pretty risky, but I'm going to get in the neighborhood in a minute. Uh, 
So we're going to renovate those units. Then when we have cash flow coming in, then we're going to go to unit one and four and get some more rent. Cause you know, again, I'm just offended that a, a landlord would put a human being in unit one at 270. Uh, unit four, 600, not as egregious, but there, that should be way higher. Since that one is its own separate home, we should be able to get 900 a month out of that. Uh, they would require, you know, another probably 10K or so turnover to get that rent. So what we want to do with this particular tenant, I think we want to go up like 50 to 100 bucks and then go up 50 to 100 bucks uh, and kind of keep them in that range. I mean, if we can get this existing tenant in there in the 750 to 850 range, you know, we're not at market, but we didn't have to do a turnover. That's probably going to be great. Um, but we definitely need to get these rents way up at the maximum. This sucker could be bringing in $3,080. So this thing is a huge cash cow. And this is going to be a, what I would consider to be a long-term burr for you guys, right? The reason it's going to be such a great burr is obviously you guys are taking a look at what the property is currently bringing in. Not much. In addition to that, to get us to this huge rent roll of three thousand eighty a month, we got to do work to each of the units, right? Two units are going to need work right now. The first unit, you know, to get us all the way to market, there's no scenario where a guy paying two seventy currently can probably afford seven fifty. So I'm sure we're going to have a turnover there before we get that rent up. And then the fourth, you know, the fourth unit, that'll be like a slow and steady one. But once we get this thing maximum, right? bringing in maximum money, 3,080, then it's a good time to do your refinance. In addition to just growing the value after making those renovations, after bringing in all that income, I wanna to talk to y'all about this neighborhood, dude. A lot of my clients who've been um, working with me and my team one-on-one -on -one doing a lot of the MLS search analysis shows, which by the way, if you're interested in that, you go to holtonwise.com, click the MLS search and analysis show, and right now, during the coronavirus pandemic, we are running a 10 property special. $2,000, I will do due diligence on you guys, make you guys videos for 10 properties. Normally, we are charging $7.99 per property. So that's a 75% discount. We're here to show you guys that, yes, things are a little different. You know, non-essential field staff or non-essential staff at Holton Wise, office staff, media staff, sales staff, we are working off-site but our essential field staff is still out there. We're still putting properties under contract. We're still doing renovations. We're still fixing tenant issues. So we wanna show you guys, we are still working for you guys and it's time to take action. You can get some serious good deals. So because of that, I'm giving you such a big discount on that product that we are going out and bringing those deals to you. So if you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, that's how you do it. If you just wanna make bids uh, on properties that I present to you, you know, of course, you're gonna send an email sales at holtonwise.com to make a bid on this property. No purchase necessary to make a bid on this property, of course. Um, but those folks who've been working with me one-on-one, -on -one, they know a lot about this neighborhood that maybe you just watch on Holton Wise TV, maybe you're not aware of yet, but this, is the biggest neighborhood in the Cleveland market that I am high on. It is currently a D-class neighborhood. If you look at the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, you'll see I've graded this as a D. But I believe we are going to see a huge upswing in this neighborhood. Number one reason, okay, to the north, just to the north of this, that's where all the hot neighborhoods in the Cleveland market that you guys probably hear on a national scale. Tremont, Gordon Square, Ohio City, Edgewater, those are the big neighborhoods, the resurgence of Cleveland. That's where you're seeing properties that used to be very, very low, low income, the hood. And now you're seeing them sell to, to you know, yuppies and hipster kids for like $500,000. Well, those are the neighborhoods. And those are just bordering us to the north. On the west, we got Cam's Corner. Great, high quality rental neighborhood. West of that, Lakewood, Rocky River, Fairview Park, all great suburbs. To the south, we got Old Brooklyn, just a solid C-class neighborhood. And this particular property is a hop, skip, and a jump. We are right next to Metro Health, which is possibly the biggest reason I am high in this particular neighborhood, because Metro Health is putting a $1 billion investment in this neighborhood. That's be like boy, y'all, not million. $1 billion investment into this particular neighborhood. They're gonna invest in their campus. They're also gonna invest in affordable housing. They're trying to really bring this neighborhood up. So we have 360 degrees around this property, better neighborhood quality than what we currently have. And then we're gonna inject a billion dollars into this neighborhood. So because of that, I think this is path to progress. If you're trying to have your cake and eat it too, get that cash flow, $3,080 a month, 
plus the chance for it to be worth a ton more when you do finally finance it out, which obviously that's going to be the very best type of financing. This deal is going to be a home run for you guys. As of right now, because of all the work needed, number one, and because I'm probably going to have, I would guesstimate, 10 to 20 offers on this. I want cash offers only on this sucker, guys. So I have your proof of funds ready. That does not mean you send me uh, pre, uh, a pre-approval from a hard money lender. I don't know why a lot of you guys out there seem to think that a, a hard money lender is a cash offer because it's not. It's a financed offer, guys. A hard money lender is just that. They're a lender. So I'm talking proof of funds. I want to see the money in your bank account. Send that to me along with your offer. Of course, you can make your offer contingent on your own third-party home inspection. You absolutely should, guys. This is a super old property, right? This is over 100 years old. Very, very old property. So I want you guys to completely understand everything you're getting when you purchase such an old property. And, you know, as far as our mechanicals and stuff goes, guys, they're all older, right? Our roof, it's older. It's not a new roof. Uh, our furnaces, our hot water tanks, you know, those are all older. As you guys are well aware, if you are uh, working with me one-on-one -on -one and watching the MLS Search Analysis show, as far as CapEx coming up in the future, I want you to be aware of furnaces, guys. There's four furnaces at a property like this. Furnaces are going to cost about $3,000 to replace. They're going to last you approximately 30 years. Hot water tanks, four of them, they cost only $1,000 to replace, but you're going to have to replace those approximately every 15 years. Uh, roofs, you know, big old roof uh, on the main house like this, that's probably like maybe like a seven, $8,000 roof. Those last about 30 years on the back house. Smaller, probably about four or 5K. Same deal, you're going to get about 30 years on those. So none of these are, are new. These are mid to end of life. So you could factor in when you're going to have to eventually replace those. My best suggestion for this property is you get that rent you know you pay you pay cash you get the rent all the way up to 3080 you do all the repairs necessary to bring in that cash flow now then what you want to do is just continue renting the property with that cash flow you know you bought it cash now you're making a ton of cash flow huge return ride it out for a few years okay ride it out this is going to a give the neighborhood a chance to catch up you know all those good things i talked about speculation i believe this neighborhood is going to be on the uptick so you're making that cash flow while the neighborhood comps are catching up and you're also riding out the last few years of all the current mechanical systems and the big costs you have then at that point when those are all starting to go down then you replace all of those so hopefully now you've got four renovated units bringing in a ton of rent now you have all your new mechanicals and your neighborhood should be a much higher higher quality. That, my friends, is when you go for that big old refinance and odds are going to be good that the after repair value at that time is going to be much more than what you've put into it. I don't want to say, uh, I can't give you an exact estimate on what that number could be, but I imagine it's going to be in that 200 or so range, but you know, don't quote me on that. A lot of that is based upon speculation. Um, so if you guys want this one, send those cash offers with the proof of funds. You can go ahead and black out your, uh, you know, if you got your account numbers, I don't need to see that. Just uh, black that out, but send those to sales at holtonwise.com. And if you guys are interested in the other property, also in the path of progress, but I don't have as much information, you're going to need to get all that information from us Reeb. send an email to their team. Information is in the show notes below on how you can contact them. That's all I've got for you guys today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise. Want you all to stay safe out there. This is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. G'day everyone, it's Angela Remora here 
your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.